Wait, it's... please! Can I just make one more heartfelt plea? Okay, what did you want to say? <laughs> oh! oh my gosh, I'm as crazy as my mother! I think Ratchet's misunderstood. Evil? No. Uh, some would say. He's, uh... He's the head of a, um, sort of a global corporation, and uh, he's the number two guy, next in line, if you will, and uh, he's, a, he's a bit ambitious, <laughs> and uh, yes, it's true, he would do anything to get what he wanted or needs, including um, <clears throat> basically uh, disembowel the robots, but uh, he's still a decent guy if you really get to know him. <laughs> okay. Security, we have a party crasher. It is kind of strange because, uh, you know, you're, so much of your work when you're doing anything is, is playing off of the people that are around you and kind of uh, having the comfort of knowing where their space is and where yours is and energy okay. and all of that comes into play. So here you're in a big, giant, empty room by yourself. It's, uh, it's very lonely and... Uh, and you really depend upon the, the guys kind of behind the glass telling you whether or not you're in the zone or you're not. And so trust becomes a big part of the game. But, uh, but it's great fun, you know. There's no, uh, um, there's no restrictions on, on how, where you go with this because there is no prototype for a robot that runs a corporation as far as I know. So... Uh, it's it's really fun to uh, just kind of experiment and fall on your face sometimes and hit something decently and the next time and uh, that's what we do here.